This is the narcissistic test from psychcentral.com. That is a hard word to pronounce, narcissistic. By the way, I got the hiccups. And I'm going to hiccup throughout this video because I don't want to wait a few, a few hours to make a new video and start over. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and hiccup. So the idea here is there are 40, 40 questions. And the questions are all the same question. Which statement, would, uh, which statement best matches you? Now, the problem here is people, neurotypical people, often confuse people who are autistic with being narcissists because, because we present the same way. So people who are autistic often present as being aloof, which is basically narcissism. People who are narcissistic present as being aloof because they are aloof. Well, the reason we um, aut autistic people present as being aloof, as you know, is because a lot of times we're withdrawn, we're shy, inhibited, we lack confidence, uh, we don't read people well, we just don't do well socially, and people perceive that as being aloof, and that's one of many examples. So, let's go through these questions, there are 40 of them, and let's see if, if they match, and let's see if it will give us the results. I've actually tried this a couple times. And only one time did it give me the result. So if we get to the end and we don't give a result, get the, get the results, um, I'm going to post the video anyhow. Because I think you're going to get the idea just by going through the questions. And I'll put the link, link to this in the uh, description. Okay, so the first one is this. Which statement best matches you? I have natural talent for influencing people. No, I'm not going to go through and edit every hiccup out of the video. That would take forever. I'm, I'm not good at influencing people. But I'm not. You know, uh, I tried being a salesman. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Actually, it was a waste of time and money, you know, because you'd have to spend your money going to see potential uh, buyers those, jo those jobs don't last very long because your employer doesn't want you if you can't make sales. You're not only wasting your money and time, but you're wasting their, their money and time, wasting their sales leads. So now, I'm not a good salesman. I'm not good at influencing people. Modestly doesn't become me. I'm essentially a modest person. I am a modest person. I don't take my shirt off unless I'm mowing the grass in the backyard because we haven't Eight foot, eight foot fence. It's embarrassing. And uh, nobody can see me in the backyard unless they're in the house looking out the window. I would do almost anything on a dare. I tend to be a fairly cautious person. I don't think I'd do anything on a dare. <laughs> I tend to be cautious. I could be more cautious because I have been victimized by narcissists so many times. You know, these scam guys. Uh, you've heard of uh, romance scammers. There are also bromance scammers. People compliment me. I sometimes get embarrassed when they do. I know that I'm a good. I know that I'm good because people, people keep telling me I'm good. Someone pays me a compliment. I say, oh, shucks. The thought of ruling the world frightens the blank out, blank out of me. Being polite to our Christian viewers. If I rule the world, it would be a better place. <laughs> nope, I don't want to rule the world. I actually ran for governor a few years ago. 19 years ago, almost 20 years ago. Biggest fear was winning, but... <laughs> I ran on a third party ticket, so there's absolutely no chance of winning, and the whole idea of running was to influence the uh, political landscape. But I enjoyed that, you know, because I actually enjoy public speaking. <laughs> but I didn't want to be in control of, I didn't want to be the governor, let alone rule the world. I can usually talk my way out of anything. I try to accept the conse consequences of my behavior. I cannot talk my way out of anything. You know, one of those bromance scammers I was telling you about, uh, 
He could talk his way out of anything. I mean, this guy had been prosecuted dozens and dozens of times. They took away his bank account, took away his driver's license, and he, he, he had an explanation for everything. And they always spun it in a spiritual dimension. He was serving Jesus by not having, having a driver's license because he didn't want to be part of the satanic world system. That's how he talked his way out of it. He lost his driver's license, I think, because he didn't show up to court. Didn't have checking account. Didn't have um, credit cards because they wouldn't let him because he bounced so many checks. Prosecuted three times successful, successfully for um, bouncing checks. Third time, they put him in jail for a year. Check, check deception, what they call it. But the point is, he still had a lot of people who liked him because he would explain those things. You know? And it's like, he would explain that he has these deeply held religious convictions. That's why he doesn't have a bank account. Uh, yeah, he was good at it. I prefer to blend in with a crowd. I like to be the center of attention. Okay, if I have to choose, I would blend in, but the correct answer for me is I don't want to be in the crowd. And if I am there, I don't want to blend. I want to be invisible. But if these are the only options, blending is for me. I will be a success. I'm not too concerned about success. Um, nothing wrong with being successful, but uh, being that audacious, I will be a success. And something I noticed about narcissists, you know, this uh, bromancer that I was telling you about, he's, he's homeless. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been evicted for every place he's ever lived because he won't pay his rent. And I'm talking about like 30 evictions, and it's all pub public record. He's my age. And um, he thinks he's successful. So Self-delusional. He's homeless, but he thinks he's successful. I am no better or worse than most people. I think I'm a special person. You know what? I think everybody is a special person, and therefore you are no better or no worse than anybody else. But you know what narcissists think? They think they're better than everybody else. They're smarter. They're more cunning. They have this insight. They like to be players, if you know what that is. I'm not sure I would make a good leader. Or, I see myself as good leader. Now, nope. when I was invo uh, involved in politics, the uh, party chairman, state party chairman, came up to me and asked me if I was interested in taking his position, being a, you know, the chairman of the party in the state. Mm. No, I told him I wanted to be a worker. Yeah, that's not my thing. Now, when I owned a business, uh, yeah, you know, you kind of have to be the... Uh, be the leader and owning your own business was kind of like the only option because I tried working I don't know how many zillion jobs and uh, I was always drubbed out, <coughs> drubbed out because of my autism I just couldn't socially communicate with people I did the job well I learned it I had a really good attitude people just don't like you okay I am assertive I wish I were more assertive I'm going to go with that one I like to have authority over other people. I don't mind following orders, worker ant. They're starting to duplicate the questions, I guess, to verify. I find it easy to manipulate people. I don't like it when I find myself manipulating people. I don't think I do manipulate people, but maybe I do. But if I do, I don't think I like it. I mean, I'm, it's not, oh, I like to manipulate people. I insist upon getting the respect that is due me, or I usually get the respect that I deserve. N neither one of those are true. If you have, but I'm going with that one because I know what they're what they're g getting after. But um, if you if you are autistic, chances are you don't get respect. You know, you're Rodney Dangerfield. Younger people may not know who he is, but you, you can Google it. But his tagline is something about, I don't get no respect or something about that. That was his, his uh, he was a comedian. Look, I don't particularly like to show off my body again. I like to show off my body. No, I don't want to show off my body. Look, I told the story in another video about going to the beach and I wouldn't take my shirt off even though it was hot and sunny. Because I was embarrassed, making things worse. There's a guy in the blanket next to us. <laughs> 
muscler, muscly rather, cowboy. You know he's a cowboy because he has a cowboy hat. But as the day wore on, wore on and I got hot, suddenly I didn't care, care what people thought about me. I took my shirt off and I looked at the muscle guy, cowboy. He took off his cowboy hat. Guess what? He was bald. <laughs> so I guess he was... Uh, he was not showing off that part of his body, just the good parts. I guess my good part was I have hair. Some some bald people look pretty good. I actually uh, had one of those AI images made of what I would look like if I were bald. <laughs> I didn't look too good, and my wife really didn't like it, but uh, those AI photo uh image makers they they do at least for me they do improve my appearance i mean they're fake i call them f-e-i-k fake a-i uh i can read people like a book people are sometimes oh, hard to understand they're impossible to understand most of the time if i feel confident i'm willing to take responsibility for, for making decisions I like to take responsible for making decisions. No, I gotta feel like I can actually do it. I just want to be reasonably happy. I want to amount to something in the eyes of the world. Um, I don't care what the world thinks of me. Uh, there's eight billion, billion people on the planet, nearly so, more or less. And when I die, there's going to be about 8 billion people who aren't even going to know, know that I ever existed. Why would I want to impress these people? So uh, I don't want to amount something in the eyes of the world because uh, I don't have the eyes of the world. And I don't think I want them. My body is nothing special. That's the same question. I try not to show off. I will usually show off if I get the chance. I don't like to show off. Comedians, a lot of them, stand-up professional comedians, say when they were kids, they were the class clown. I was the class invisible kid. I always know what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> That's about all the time. Which statement, okay, uh, which statement best matches you? Every question is the same. I sometimes depend on people to get things done. I rarely depend on anyone to get things done. Uh, sometimes I depend on people because I'm not very good at things like fixing my car, doing plumbing, repairs around the house, uh, construction work. I'm just, uh, I'm not good at those things. I have no idea. I probably could be, but I'm just not. So uh, I tend to depend on other people and it gets kind of costly. But I've learned that my son-in-law, who is good at those things, he's very, he's a handyman. I mean, he just has a knack, you know, computer skills, amazing. But I have learned not to ask him to help because I don't want him to think every time he comes to my house, you know, Thanksgiving today, by the way, that uh, every time, time he comes, I want to ask him to fix things. I want him to come just to have fun. Sometimes I tell good stories. Everybody likes to hear my stories. Sometimes I tell good stories. I, I have this bad habit of, of telling the same story over and over and over again. People get, get annoyed at that. But one of my favorite stories, you tell me if this is a good story. When I was five years old, my dad took me to Dairy Queen. And this was back um, 1958. <laughs> And he drove his 1955 Chevy. He would do that on occasion. And uh, some years later, when I was a full-grown adult, adult like, in my, like in my 50s or 60s, I went to that same Dairy Queen, and it looked identical. They even still had the dilly bars, you know. And I, I just happened to mention to the manager, you know, when I was five years old, my dad would take me to that Dairy Queen. That's one of my favorite stories. But a couple of years, I went back. Yeah, the, the manager was there, and I said, again, you know, when I was five years old, my dad used to take me to this Dairy Queen. And he looked at me and said, yeah, I know. You, you say that every time you come in here. 
Actually, you didn't go in. It was one of those old-style Dairy Queens where you just walk up to a window in front of the building. There's no going in, unless you include going in the parking lot. I expect a great deal from other people. I like to do things for other people. I actually, yeah, I actually like to do things for other people. The problem is that sometimes people who are autistic, we will do things for other people so they will like us, not because we're being helpful. So we got to kind of check our motives. I will never be satisfied unless I get all that I deserve or I take my satisfactions as they come. Well, I take my satisfactions as they come. Compliments embarrass me, or I like to be complimented. Yeah, they kind of embarrass me, but I still like to be complimented. <laughs> I have, do you know how to cure the hiccups? You know, I've tried um, massaging my intestine or whatever it is. Try drinking water, that never helps. Try holding my breath, all you do is hiccup louder when you do it. Do that. I have strong will to power. I have a strong will to power. I don't actually know what that means, but I think what it means is I like to <laughs> I like to be powerful. I want to be powerful. I will be powerful. Power for its own sake doesn't interest me. Go with that one. I don't care about new fads and fashions. I would like to start new fads and fashions. I wear the same, or I should say identical, clothes every day. Sweat sweatpants and I have these button-up shirts with pockets in them for cell phones. The shirts are different colors. The shirt I'm adding on now, the only reason I wear this shirt is because it plays well with the green screen. And if it weren't for this shirt, sometimes I wear this black shirt which is uh, not quite as good. You know, this is a uh, um, sweatshirt I'm wearing underneath here because yeah, it's getting cold. But, uh, you know, another shirt, I'd look, you know, I'd be the invisible man like I was when I was in school. You could see, see the uh, stuff behind me. I like to look at myself in the mirror. How many times are you going to ask this? I'm not particularly interested in looking <coughs> at myself in the mirror. But I do because how are you going to comb your hair if you don't look in the mirror? How are you going to shave? I look in the mirror because I want to see how skinny I'm getting. I've lost uh, half of me. You know, I was up around 260. Uh, earlier this week, I weighed 133, but that was after I went out and ran. And this morning, which is Thanksgiving, I weighed 137. That's going to change in, in just a couple hours. I really like to be the center of attention. Again, I don't know if you can hear this uh, cord rubbing on the mic, but it's really annoying to, uh, to me. I really like to be the center of attention. It makes me uncomfortable to be the center of attention. Again, that's the class clown thing. Which statement matches you the best? I can live my life in any way I want to. People can't always live their lives in terms of what they want. And that kind of ties into this other uh, question. I really like to be the center of attention. A lot of times, uh, people with autism will actually want to be the center of attention to compensate for feeling infer inferior, whereas a narcissist thinks he is entitled to be the center of attention. So you present the same again, but ooh, it's different. Being an authority doesn't mean that much to me. People always seem to recognize my authority. Uh, I can't remember a single time in my life when anybody recognized my authority. I mean, surely there must have been some time. Okay, well, when I owned my business. but I would prefer to be a leader. It makes a little difference to me whether I'm a leader or not. Actually, the correct answer would be, I don't want to be a leader unless I have to be. Not uh, that it matters. Which statement best matches you? I'm going to be a great person. I hope I'm going to be successful. You know, 
I like to be successful, but I don't know what success, <laughs> success is because it's relative. But to me, success is having enough money to pay your bills and go out and eat once in a while. <laughs> People sometimes believe what I tell them. I can make anybody believe anything I want them to. Sometimes they believe me, sometimes not. There was a bromance scammer in my life. <laughs> and, you know, he had my best friend, my best buddy, best friend forever. It was all fake. I mean, he was fooling me, and I didn't know it. Because people with autism tend to be a little bit gullible, naive, and uh, I'm not a little bit. I'm hugely gullible. But uh, I think used car salesmen actually like me, you know? But this guy could make anybody believe just about anything. He had been prosecuted... <laughs> Literally dozens of times, uh, three times for check deception, you know, bouncing checks. And people would ask, why don't you have a checking account? And he didn't say because the court took my banking privileges away from me. But he would make them believe that because he is so spiritual, you know, banking is part of the uh, new, world, new world order, the satanic system. And uh, why don't you have a driver's license? Well, he wouldn't say because the court took away my driver's license because <laughs> I didn't show up for a court appearance. He'd say, well, you know, that's the driver's license is a part of uh, the new, new World Order, you know, the Antichrist. So he'd put a spiritual spin on things, and people would say, oh, you are such a wonderful, wonderful person, when they should be saying, oh, you're a crook. I am a born leader. Leadership is a quality that takes a long time, long time to develop. I'm not sure that's true. I think there are people who are very charismatic and they are born leaders. If you were to uh, throw a dart at a list of uh, mega churches, you know, churches that have, have thousands of people who are members, you will discover that the pastor of every single one of those churches is a, is a born leader. Uh, they're charismatic, very charismatic. Which statement matches you the best? Okay, I wish somebody would someday write my biography or I don't like people prying into my life for any reason. Yeah, I got an eight foot privacy fence, but I already wrote my biography. It's like 250 blank pages. Feel free to copy it if you wanna write your biography. I, I get upset when people don't notice how I look when I go out in public. I don't mind blending into the crowd when I go out in public. Uh, unless you go to Walmart, it's kind of hard to blend into that crowd. We're coming to the end. Sorry about the hiccups. Uh, I am more capable than other people. There's a lot that I can learn from other people. <laughs> I am very much like everybody else. I am extraordinary person. It's kind of like that other question. Everybody is extraordinary. <laughs> So if you are extraordinary, you're like everybody else. But uh, people who are narcissists, they think they're extra, extraordinary. <laughs> extra, extraordinary. They think they're better, so I'm going with this one. 